it's me Crystal and today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame diamond keychain. To start you'll want to grab a one inch key ring and the one I'm using has a lobster clasp attached to it but you can use anything similar with a one inch ring. And you're also going to need three cords that are 52 inches long and this is five millimeter single strand cotton cord. So you're going to take one of those cords and fold it in half, loop the end through the ring, and then pull the ends through to make a lark's head knot. And you're going to do that with the other two cords as well. So you'll have all three attached to your ring. And then I recommend pinning your work down to a macrame board or a cork board or something just to secure it while you work. Now you're going to take the fourth cord from the left and cross it over the cords on the left and use that as your filler cord to tie three double half hitch knots going down into the left. I'm tying this first double half hitch knot super duper slow in case you are a beginner, but you just loop it over the filler cord and pull the end through and then tighten it up. And then you're going to repeat that again. You bring the cord up in front and over the filler cord, bring the ends through that loop and tighten it up. If you're new to macrame, I also have a printable PDF guide with the five most important macrame knots that you need to know, including the double half hitch knot, which we're doing now, square knots, lark's head knots, and a few others. And I will link to that down in the description below. Now we're going to take the third cord from the right and use it as our filler cord to tie two double half hitch knots going down and to the right. Now grab the third cord from the left and you're going to use that as your filler cord to tie three double half hitch knots going down and to the right. And you'll want to make sure they go right up against that row you just tied. Also, if you might notice that my cord is kind of loose looking and like coming untwisted a little bit. And if your cord's like that, you'll just want to make sure that you're twisting the cord back up as you tie your knots and that will help keep it from looking all messy and frayed. Now you're going to use that third cord from the left as your filler cord to tie two double half hitch knots going down into the left. Okay, now we're going to tie a square knot right in the center. So you're going to use those four center cords and tie your square knot so that left cord goes over the two center cords in a four shape. Then you bring that right cord back behind and through the loop on the left. Tighten it up. And there'll be just a little space at the top of the square knot, but that's okay. And then you do the same thing on the right side. Make a reverse four shape. Bring the left cord in front of that cord, behind the two center cords, and through the loop. And then tighten up your knot. And make sure your center cords don't get twisted. I had to untwist mine. There you go. And now you're going to take the far left cord and use it as your filler cord to tie two double half hitch knots going down and to the right. And 
And then you're going to take the far right cord and use it as the filler cord to tie two double half hitch knots going down into the left. And now you're going to tie one more double half hitch knot going down to the left and this will join the two sides of your diamond together. Now for the second diamond, grab the third cord from the left and use that as your filler cord again. And this time instead of doing the second cord over from the left, we're going to start with the farthest left cord for our next double half hitch knot. So go ahead and use that cord to tie one knot right up next to where you left off. It'll make that row of double half hitch knots just continue down. And then you're going to go ahead and use the other cord that we skipped and tie the next double half hitch knot. And this just kind of tucks those cords in there where the diamonds meet so it's not sticking out. Now you're going to use the third cord from the right and do the same thing using the far right cord first as your working cord and tie one double half hitch knot going down into the right. Then you're going to take the other cord on the right and use it for the next knot. Just like on the top, we're going to tie another square knot down here. So do that exactly how we did with the first diamond. And then you're going to take your left cord and use it as the filler cord to tie two double half hitch knots going down into the right. Grab the far right cord and use it as a filler cord for two double half hitch knots going down into the left. And then use both center cords to tie one more double half hitch knot going down into the left to connect the bottom of this diamond. Now take your leftmost cord and you're going to tie a double half hitch knot going down and to the right, but then there is something a little different we're going to do after this knot. Make sure it's right up next to that last row of knots we did. And once you finish this knot, you're going to take that working cord and hold it with the filler cord, hold them together. And then you're going to use both of those cords as the filler cord for the next double half hitch knot that goes down and to the right. Now you're going to do the same thing on the right, but in the opposite direction. So use the rightmost cord as your filler cord and tie your first knot. And then hold those two cords together and use them both as the filler cord for your second double half hitch knot going down into the left. Now we're going to take the original two cords that were used as the filler cords and we're going to tie one last double half hitch knot going down and to the right. And that will finish off that bottom diamond shape. All right, next we have to tie a wrapping knot to finish this off. So grab your 16 inch long piece of cord. 
we're gonna flip it over to the back. I like to do that just so the wrapping knot looks nice and neat on the front. Then you make this U shape with your cord and you're gonna wrap it around right underneath where the last double half hitch knot was. And you're gonna wrap it, I like to do at least five or six wraps to make sure it's nice and secure. And then once you get that all wrapped, you're gonna stick the end through that loop that's on the bottom. And then you're gonna pull the short cord at the top and that will bring that loop up underneath the wraps and that'll bring that end up as well. Just make sure there's no slack in it and then pull it up and make sure you stop before it comes out the top. So you want it to be halfway under the wrapped section. Then just take your scissors and cut off the excess cord sticking out on the top and the bottom. And you can just use the pointy part of your scissors to poke those little ends up underneath. After you do that, I like to pull on each cord individually just to make sure there's no slack bunched up at the top of the wrapping knot. And then you just need to cut the excess cord. And I usually just go by the shortest piece and cut all of them off at that length. But you can cut them as long or short as you like. And then if you want, after you get your ends all trimmed up, you can brush it out. And then I like to give it one more trim, just to get little fuzzy bits off, but that is it. Your keychain is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.